Hello, I am Ijo Zhang at the University of Waterloo, and I will be presenting our paper, Reasoning About Reasoning About Reasoning, at Popo 2022 on January the 19th. Probabilistic programming languages are powerful tools for modeling and solving Bayesian inference problems. A PPL has three essential features, sampling, conditioning, and querying. Sampling corresponds to making random choices. Conditioning amounts to imposing constraints on samples. The sampling and the conditioning then together mean that a probabilistic program defines a conditional distribution. And finally, querying corresponds to applying Bayesian inference to infer the conditional distribution. As an example, we can use these three essential features of a PPL to model an agent that wants to reason about its possible choices of action and make a rational choice. The result of this querying is a conditional distribution of actions. Sample in this distribution yields a good action. In most PPLs, queries are a first class language construct. There is no restriction on where the programmer can use the query construct. In particular, it is possible to nest queries inside queries to express inference of inference, that is, reasoning about reasoning. An example is modeling an agent in the Markov decision process, where the agent chooses an action at each step to transition from one state to another. The MDP agent makes a sequence of actions and uh, traverses a sequence of states. So to make rational choices, the agent must reason about the cumulative cost that will be incurred by choosing an action in a given state. So the action and the cost functions are mutually recursive, with the queries recursively nested, modeling how the agent reasons about its own reasoning in future states. We can instantiate this MDP encoding on the problem of two-dimensional path planning. Here we have a robot whose constraint is to navigate to the goal region while also avoiding the obstacle. Applying Bayesian inference to this program, it automatically searches for a distribution of paths that meet the constraint. From this MDP encoding arises an interesting program equivalence question. What if nested queries enclose not only the recursive call to action, but also the recursive call to cost? Will this change affect how the MDP agent functions? That is, are the two versions of the MDP encodings semantically equivalent? We experimented with these encodings, and it seems like the two MDP agents can sample equally good trajectories. So perhaps they are indeed equivalent. However, they have very different performance characteristics. The program on the right led to exponentially less running time of inference for the inference algorithm used in this experiment. If we could formally substantiate the equivalence of these two programs, then it would be justified to use one of them as a semantics preserving optimization of the other. So in this work, we were guided by the goal of being able to reason equationally about the probabilistic programs that use nested queries and general recursion. To achieve this goal, we needed to establish sound, easy to use equational reasoning principles. And to establish such reasoning principles, we first need precise semantics for nested queries. But the challenge is that we found no existing PPL semantics fully accounts for the powerful combination of nested queries and general recursion. As a result, our first contribution in this work is to give meaning to a PPL with nested queries and general recursion using an operational semantics. We then develop equational reasoning principles using a logical relations approach. And lastly, we demonstrate how to use the equational reasoning principles using applications of reasoning about the reasoning. <laughs>